Hi, welcome to another tutorial of Stream Developers. Let's build a fully functional chat application with React, Vid, and Stream. Using the Stream Start API, developers can use reusable React components to build messaging experiences out of the box. The library consists of customizable React components, allowing you to build chat experiences for different use cases such as social messaging, virtual event, live streaming, gaming, and more. The chat library also supports rich media messages, reactions, threads, and quoted replies, text input commands like Jiffy. There is video playback, channel, and messages list. Before we begin creating the chat messaging app, let's look at the final project. I will launch VS Code. I have already opened the integrated VS Code terminal, so let's run the command npm run dev. That gives a link to where we can view the app on the local host. So I'll press command and click it to open it in the browser. So that launches the messages list. Here we have message input so we can write anything and send it. If I hover on a message, we have different options. There is a menu for messaging actions like reply, edit message and deleting a message. There is also reaction support so you can react to any message. You can attach files and images to any message. So this functionality allows you to add different types of documents, for example, animated GIFs and videos. Basically, this is what we will build in this tutorial. The source code is on GitHub. You can find it in this repository under the folder React Chat App. All you need to do is to create a new React app with it and replace the content of the app.tss file with this content. So in this tutorial, we will create a new React app with feed. I will show you how to install the chat SDK and also show you how to get user credentials for authentication and authorization. We will configure the chat SDK to work with the React app and finally test the app. So let's begin. To initialize the React project, we are going to use feed so that we get a boilerplate that we can run locally. So let's open the terminal and get started. You can use your favorite command line tool, but I'm going to use terminal. To create the new React project with it, I will cd to the desktop. Then we add the command npm create vid at latest. Then we need to specify the project name. Let's call it React Chat Tutorial and press enter. So here we have different options to select from. So let's leave it as React and press enter. So here we can select TypeScript, JavaScript, or Remix. Now we have instructions here about what we have to do next. First, let's cd into this folder. Secondly, we run npm install. That is going to take a while. So let's wait for a moment. So that was successful. To see the help in the browser, we use the command npm run dev. So that gives a link to where we can view the app in the local host. Let's copy the link and open it in the browser. As you can see here, we have successfully created the React application using Vite. Next, let's open the app in VS Code and install the chat SDK. By going back to the terminal, I will press Ctrl C to kill the server. Then let's run code and period. So you can see here on the top left, we have the app's name as the root folder. We have all these folders and several other files. We are not going to change any of these files. To implement the chat messaging functionality, we are going to change only one file, that is app.tsx. Before we do the implementation, let's also make sure the app is running successfully in VS Code by using the integrated terminal. You can show and hide the integrated terminal in VS Code using the keyboard shortcut, control and backtick. We just need to run the command npm run dev. Then we copy this link and open it in the browser. So you can see here that is running successfully. So let's go back to VS Code and do the implementation. We don't need a server now, so I'll press Ctrl and C to kill it. So over here, you can see we are still in the root folder. To install the chat SDK, you can use npm or yarn. So let's put this command. npm install stream chat and stream chat react. So over here, we are going to do two installations, one for stream chat 
and also StreamChat React. StreamChat is the core SDK. You can use only StreamChat to build chat experiences if you don't want to use the customizable React components of the SDK. Then we have StreamChat React that consists of reusable React components. So in this case, we are going to install them both. So let's press enter. We have now successfully installed the SDK. Let's configure it in app.tsx. We don't need the content in this file anymore. So let's select everything and delete it. First, we should import the various components of the SDK. We have components such as chat, channel, channel header, thread, window, message list, and message input. Next, we will import StreamChat from StreamChat. To work with the chat SDK, we need a valid user and user token. For this tutorial, we are going to use a generated user token. If you are working with a production app, you can generate the token from your server side. Or for testing, you can use the API key of your stream account to generate one. If you don't have a dashboard account yet, go to the stream's website. On the top right, you click this button. You can sign up for a new account here but I'm going to log in with my email. Once you log into your dashboard, you can create a new app here by filling in the following information. I have already created one, so I'm not going to complete it. After you create an app in the dashboard, you can use your access keys, that is the key and secret, along with our token generator service to generate a user token for testing. In this tutorial, we already have the generated token, so I'm not going to generate another one. Let's go back to VS Code. Let's also import the styles from the index.css file. Then we create a new chat client with the generated API key. Next, we define the user token. This is also the generated user token I showed previously. With the chat client we define here, we can use it to create a user with ID, name, and image. Then over here, we call the user token. Next, we have to create a channel for the chat client. So here we have the channel avatar and also title of the channel. Then finally, in the app component, we need to display all these chat components we imported earlier. The chat component wraps the entire stream chat application. So all these other components must be nested as its children. Next, we have the channel component. This provides UI for the individual chat channels, like the channel state, action menu, and typing indicator. The channel header provides information about the active channel, including an image and the title of the channel. Next, we have the message list, which consists of a scrollable list of messages. The message input component provides the functionality for writing and sending messages. The window component manages the entire UI of the app, for example, opening and closing of threads and changes that happen to the width of the main channel. So this is all we need to do to implement chat messaging in the React app. We first make the necessary imports, that is the various components of the chat messaging. Then we define these user properties. Then we create a user and a chat channel. Finally, in the main app component, we display the various components of the chat. Some of the CSS styles are defined in index.css. If you want to customize the UI further, you can for example define your own CSS in a separate file and then you import that file in the app.tsx file just below the stream chat import. Let's run the app with the integrated VS Code terminal by pressing Ctrl and Backtick. Then we run the command npm run dev. So we can copy the link to the local host and view the app in the browser. So we can type anything and send it. We can react to messages, upload files and documents and many more. This is all we have in this video. I showed you how to create a React chat messaging application using the Stream Chat API. To go further, there is more you can do to the app. You can, for example, customize and extend the chat experience we built in this tutorial to build a live stream style chat application. Thanks for watching this video.